Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Coach C, your tech support. This video was for the brand new Fire Stick owner. You just pulled it out the box and you're figuring, trying to figure out how to set this thing up. Well, that's what I'm here to do tonight. I'm going to help you set it up, all right? So, without further ado, let's get going. When you first plug in your Fire Stick, you're going to plug it into power, you're going to let it load. It's going to first come on, it's going to say uh, Fire TV. It's going to talk about Amazon. It's going to load to an Amazon page. Let it go because it's going to eventually go right here. The Fire Stick was set up to remotely go right to this page here. This is your Cody page. This is what I'm going to call your Cody page. This is where all the magic happens. This is where your movies, your sporting events, everything's going to come from right here. Okay? So you're going to let it come here. You're going to give it an opportunity to load. Right down here in this bottom corner right here, you're going to see it. It's going to start uh, updating, doing some updates. Let that go for a minute uh, because what we're going to need to do before you'll be able to start watching movies, we need to need to connect you to the network and register your Fire Stick, okay? Connect you to the network, to your network, your Wi-Fi network, and register your Fire Stick. Those two things are very important to get this Fire Stick running properly, okay? So once it uh, gets here, everything is stopped down here in the right corner. Um, it's time to go in and let's register it. Pick up your remote right in the center uh, there's a little button, a little small button in the center that looks like a little house. What you're going to do is you're going to double click that button. It's going to take you to the Amazon page. Now, your Amazon page may not look exactly like this because uh, mine's already registered, but I'm going to show you how to get to the registration portion of it, okay? And how to do the Wi Fi. Once you get here, you're going to scroll down to settings, okay? Once you get to settings, you're going to scroll to the right. To systems click on systems scroll down to network click on network so there'll be a bunch of networks there choose your network once you choose your network click the center button the big round button right in the center that's your inner button click the inner button it's going to take you to a page where you can put in your Wi-Fi password once you put in your Wi-Fi password Hit the back button, which is the button just left of the little house button, the little home button. Click that one. It's going to bring you back here. You're going to go over to click right till you get to my accounts. You're going to click on my accounts. You're going to click over to it say Amazon accounts. It's going to say sign in. You're going to click there. You're going to sign in. Hold on. You're going to click over there. It's going to ask you, mine will say deregister, but yours will say register. Okay. You're going to pause. You're going to need to pause right here. Okay. Because what you're going to need to do is go to amazon.com. Do not create a new account here. Go to amazon.com on your computer or your phone. Start an Amazon account. Free. Absolutely free. All you need is an email address and create a password. Once you've done that, you've got an account. You come back here. You register it, okay? Put your email address in, put your password. It'll come back, you'll click, click OK. Then it'll ask you, are you thus and such? Whoever you name you push, you push OK till you get back to here, okay? It'll bring you back here. Now, from this page, you don't really want to mess with this page. This is where all the paid. Uh, apps are folks say it just asked me to pay for stuff this is the Amazon page we want to get you back to the Cody page and to get back to the Cody page all you need to do is hit the home button which is a little house one time it'll start to load take you right here all right and this is where the magic happens by default, it starts on music, but you're going to click to the left, the videos, and down here at the bottom are all apps. These are apps where videos and movies are at, right? These are movies and television shows are down here. The reason these are down here is because these are just the most popular apps, some of the most popular apps um, going right now. Uh, you can click on any one of these apps, and you can um, start to watch videos. As you can see, there's Exodus. Velocity, 
stream all sources, salt, uh, the royal we. Uh, there's Phoenix. Let's start off with Phoenix. Phoenix is usually a really good one to start off with. Really pops really fast. So let's click click on Phoenix. As you see inside of Phoenix, there's a bunch of apps. Okay, you've got uh, Phoenix TV. You've got Phoenix Sports. You got Phoenix new releases. Let's try Phoenix new releases. From there, you go down and you choose a movie. Let's go down and let's choose. Let's choose Deadpool. Click on Deadpool. It'll ask you to choose a link. I'll choose number two. <coughs> Excuse me. It says opening stream. Wait, 50%. It says working in the bottom right hand corner. That means that movie's going to pop. Let's give it a time. It's, just, it's just still searching the internet. It's loading up. Bam. There it is. That movie is in. Let's keep going. That movie is playing. In standard definition, and usually you can catch that movie in, in seven uh, seven twenty. Okay, but we're gonna stop it right here. Stop right here. We're gonna go back. Let's try another one. Let's try Daddy's Home. I ask to choose a link. Let's choose link number one. If link number one doesn't work. If a link doesn't work, just hit the back button. Let's try another link. When it's opening stream, fifty percent. When it starts to say working in the bottom, you know that thing is probably gonna pop. The key to this thing is just to be patient, all right? Still has to learn your network, has to find it, that failed. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit it again, and we're going to try link number two, okay? Link number one, link number two is probably going to work. No problem. Patience is a virtue. See it working down in the bottom. And here comes the movie. Just know, guys, that um, because we're doing this remotely, the, the, the movie's going to scatter a little bit, but I can guarantee you, you've got 720 and 1080p quality movies is uh, running flawlessly and you'll see it as you you push it and how it pops on all right let's go back let's hit the back button is the little button next to the home page the home button go back to the beginning let's go down to add-ons click add-ons inside of add-ons you've got a bunch more add-ons you got a bunch more apps I'm sorry and as you can see there's just tons of apps tons of apps you can you can choose from and we've been having some problem with the history uh, tube uh, don't worry about that. Here, let me show you this one here. Afdar. HD movies. These movies pop um, very quickly. There's a bunch of apps. You just got to get in there, play with this thing, learn the apps, learn what works best for you. Um, let's look at this one. Dope. Open the stream. Working. Bam. Again, that movie was 1080p, a little sketchy on your, on your um, side, but guarantee you when you're watching it in, in your living room, great movies. All right, let's go back. Remember, you're going to play with this. Hey, uh, look for more videos. We're going to we're going to review some of these apps. I'm going to get a little bit more in depth in, in individual apps to show you a little bit more. I'm going to uh, do it for my PC so that you'll be able to see how much clearer and better it is. Right. So in that. Hey, guys. Uh, one other thing. Let me tell you tell you about this. If you go down here. And on yours, when you get it, if you go down to the star down in the bottom right hand corner, right, you click it. In this box here, there's going to be, um, they'll give you some choice. It's going to give you a choice to delete, 
cache and purge packages you want to do that on a regular basis okay when your memory starts to run out, there's a very small little computer and it, and it serves up cookies and different things like that so you you're going to want to delete the cache purge the package i do that whenever i turn it on and when i turn it off i do that just so that it, it stays clear so it works better it's faster okay um, and also when you're not using it unplug it it's a little computer it gets warm it doesn't have a fan unplug the thing uh, when you plug it back up what it does is it updates the apps okay it doesn't automatically update when it's just running so unplug it unplug it from the power not the television from the power either unplug it from the socket or unplug the power cord from the stick you don't have to unplug it from the back of the TV. Unplug the power cord, okay? Hey, guys, look for some more videos. We're going to really uh, put out two or three videos a week. And uh, hope you guys enjoy them. If you like this one, if this helped you in any bit, uh, any little bit, like it, subscribe so that you'll get notifications when new things come out. Hey, thanks a lot for uh, joining me on this venture. Uh, love you, and I'll see you tomorrow.